Good morning, evening, and afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another Dragons of Tarkir draft. Um, this is bizarre. I've opened like three crater elementals in three consecutive drafts. Um, I might just be like a here's your sign moment. There's a lot of good red in this pack. However, there's also probably one of the best uncommons, if not the best uncommon, by popular consensus. Um, and who am I to agree with, or disagree with the mob? Plus, you know, Gravecaller is just uh, pure value. Five mana for a 3-6. Already passes the vanilla test, and then you just get four power on the board. Uh, it's ridiculous. The zombies don't even enter the battlefield tapped. Like, is this real life? So yeah, grape collar, get in there. Huh. Wow. Not a great pack altogether. Um, I mean, we could take a coat, which is not exciting. Best card in the pack? Maybe Guardian Shield Bearer or Dromoko Warrior. We might just um, snag a warrior here, a two drop. Uh, likewise here, um, not a whole lot of great black for us, but white is looking fairly open. Uh, Sandcrafter Mage after you know, Warrior into Sandcrafter Mage is not a terrible curve. Uh, best card in the pack, probably the Drowner. Uh, staying on color, we have either an Avon Tactician or a Champion. We also have Spell Eater, which is just a quality Megamorph. Maybe not as good as a Drowner or a Grave Caller, but um, doesn't pigeonhole you into the exploit deck either. And I think it's more exciting than a uh, random 4 drop. Take a charger here. Alternatively, we could. Uh, well, I don't know. Charger is a good megamorph of four or five. Uh, for five, minus the three mana investment, or plus rather. Mm -hmm. We don't have any dragons, and even so, this is just so-so. It's between Sandstorm Charver, Charger and Evolving Wilds, and of course I'm looking at uh, being able to splash for black or be get more flexibility there, but I think Charger is the pick. Lightwalker or Scion. Uh, we'll take the walker. Pretty, uh, want to just affirm our, our commitment to white here. Cut white for the rest of the packs, if at all possible. Very late green megamorpher and uh, pretty, you know, okay playables here. We might just take the colorless. Uh, late faithful there. and stature is removal. Uh, another sandstorm charger. Get in there, buddy. So we could be white-black at this point. I think um, Gravecaller is actually more exciting than Spell Eater. Surge of Righteousness is a pretty good sorry, sideboard card. Pardon me. We do only have 
the one black card, so a splash is not out of the question. Wow. Very good blue and black uh, in this pack for us. So let's see. We have uh, removal here in Foul Tongue Invocation, but we also have an Ojitai uh, Summons here, which, and then the Vulture Save and Shambling Goblin. So it's pretty much, bet I think it's between uh, the Summons or the Invocation. And I gotta say, like, we could, we have a, a pretty good, like, we could probably wield the Lore Master, use it to get a summons back. That's a pretty good use for a Lore Master. White-Blue might be looking more um, doable. What we want to see is, like, a, a pacifism. I wouldn't dare dream for two, but maybe, like, a pacifism and a silk wrap or something like that. But we're going to jam the summons here. Oh, instantly. With the second summons. So, yeah, we're jamming the white blue. Seems good. A living lore? Oh. With two summons and then casting it again and again? I mean, If that's a realistic goal, I think Student of Ojitai is a much more playable card. Living Lore will probably wheel, if we're being honest. Uh, yeah, Student is probably the pick in this pack. I got all moon-eyed. Wow, a second Foul Tongue. Uh, notably, we are also not seeing much removal, like that pacifism we wanted. That's okay. A third summons. Is this really... Yeah. Wow. Okay. I don't know how good a Dooncaster is in our deck. Um, Maybe we don't play it. Alright, now our colors are drying up a little bit. Wow. Um, Palace Familiar. Pretty good late pick. Happy with that. There's that War Master. Excellent. Uh, much better in this deck than I would normally rate it. Splash the Grave Caller. Skywise teachings.
mean, the three Ojatai summons definitely make us think twice about that, but... Yeah. Oh, wow. Just a great pack. Okay, so uh, we're going to just slam the siege here. That's great. Great open for us. Pretty happy about that. And, uh, yeah. Blue-white cards, nothing in here that we aren't going to get back. So we will take the Scoured Barons. Awesome. Really good removal. Right there, Valorous Stance. <laughs> I think we take the Surveyor over the uh, Ward Scale here. Sage. Very good. Siege was a great rip there. A lot of uh, expensive stuff or a one drop, I think we take enhanced awareness. Yeah, we could use a little bit of card draw. Right into being is a good low drop. Uh, we're happy to pick it up. <laughs> Just as long as we don't uh, Right into being our citadel siege will be okay. Yeah. Not a lot here. I guess we'll hit the noxious dragon and second right into being. Looking good. So I think Faithful is pretty good now that we have a couple of uh, creatures we don't mind sacking to it. Hmm. Rune Mark might actually make the deck. Um, it's Rune Mark or like uh, our most of our threats have flying anyway, so probably a Negate main board, not refocus. I mean, it seems really good. <laughs> Not extremely good, like we didn't get any Sandblast or um, Pacifisms, which are, you know, high-grade uh, 
commons. But we did get Citadel Siege and three Ojutai summons. Uh, which, to me, sounds good. Sounds like we can make it work. So, we have ten uh, non-creature spells. Now, the question is... Oh, we didn't even get a uh, token generator. Yeah, I don't think Tapestry is really where we want to be, and I don't think we're going to splash for Gravecaller. We have a hell of a lot of five drops. One heck of a lot. Uh, even with the chargers over here. Yeah. Uh, this deck, this deck is pretty gas. Like I said, not the absolute best, but I think we can work with it. I think we'll go ahead and run the cleric over in the gate, actually. It's good at gumming up the ground. And, uh, that's probably what we're gonna stick with. Ten and eight. Uh... Seems good. I think we'll hit the double white reliably. Although we may want to go nine and nine. I think that'll be better. Citadel Siege is hands down our best card, so yeah, we do want to keep it around. Okay, well that's blue white uh, skies if I ever saw it. And we'll see how it runs in round one. All right, see you there.